Thank you, Jen, and uh, thank you guys for being here today, Representative Blaine Wilhire, um, South Central Illinois. I want to talk about energy um, today. Cheap and reliable energy is the basic uh, building block that's literally separated us from third world countries. Um, and it's, it's been essential to economic growth in Illinois. And until very recently, in the last several years here, it's been a major competitive advantage for uh, job creators and potential job creators in this state. And that's all changed over the past few years as the legislature and the governor in this state have imposed energy policies that are unrealistic, they're unaffordable, and they've stripped away the job creation advantages of being an energy exporter, which this state uh, once was and, and has the resources to be again. Um, you know, don't get us wrong here. It's great to be aspirational about these, uh, about policies, but successful people and successful organizations are able and willing to temper their aspirations with reality. They don't force their political aspiration through on the backs of their working class uh, constituents. If your policies result in lowering the quality of life for people that are subjected to them, then it's not good policy, and it's not policy that's going to attract opportunity uh, to this state. Telling uh, grandma that she just needs to sweat it out a little bit more in the summer and, uh, you know, put on an extra sweater in the winter doesn't cut, us, cut it for us. The CJA and the overall direction of energy policy um, in this state and in this country, for that matter, is literally hurting people. Energy prices have doubled. doubled at least doubled, um, sometimes tripled, and sometimes even more than that for people in small businesses that can afford it least because energy is being taken off the grid uh, as a result of these policies, and it cannot be replaced by renewables. Um, nobody denies that. Nobody doubts that. It's simply a supply and demand issue. The supply is being artificially limited because the supply is here. We do have it in, in Illinois, and the demand a, 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 is a constant. And it's going to get even more as we you know, bring more EVs and things of that nature online. So the prices are going through the roof for consumers with, with no end in sight. And we as a group and as a House of Republicans, we're not willing to sacrifice the prosperity of our citizens so that a handful of politicians can have a talking point. That's what we're dealing with here. We're not opposed to renewables. We just want the policies to be focused around the best interests of our citizens and ultimately not to harm them. Our intent is to combine the aspirations of CJA with the realities of the, of the grid. In order to protect the reliability and affordability of energy in Illinois, I've filed House Bill 4085, and this would allow the Illinois Commerce Commission to take action in two different circumstances. In the case of a pending closure of a power plant, if the ICC determines that that closure would put the health of the grid or the affordability of power in jeopardy, then the ICC can pause emission caps in CJA and keep that plant online. A plant operator who is considering a shutdown can petition the ICC to remain open with emission caps in CJA paused in order to provide the necessary power to the grid with the approval of the ICC and a hearing process. Here's the bottom line. If power becomes unaffordable and unreliable, or both, which we're seeing currently, under the current CJA law, then the ICC and the power generators have the tools they need to keep them operating in order to supply the power that, that we need um, for the businesses and the citizens in this state. It's really just a common sense uh, approach to protect the uh, availability of affordability in um, a power in this state. I kind of call it the grown-up version of CJA.